There were a number of things. I think things, you know, we were, I'm quite fond of them all to this day, but it, you know, we were difficult. Band politics is, is just classic. And um, <clears throat> so, you know, got to the point where to get something done, you'd have to persuade um, Tony and I, we were off banks who were often um, best friends, worst enemies. So I would sometimes try and persuade him that what I wanted was his idea. And he, um, and he was always very protective of the keyboard. He didn't want anyone else getting near his keyboard. Um, whereas I wanted to express myself and play with that. But then um, I think there was a decisive thing when my first daughter Anna was born and they didn't think she would survive. Um, and there was a whole number of things. So she, my wife Jill wasn't allowed to see her then and she was in an incubator. It was um, the most traumatic experience of my life at that point. And the band were very unappreciative. Phil had had a child then, but on the whole, um, we were trying to get a, a, the Lamb Lies Down on Broadway recorded at that time. And that was in um, far west Wales and the drive was pretty hellish getting there and, and back. And uh, there was no question in my mind that family comes first. And um, so I think things got soured at that point. And then I had an invitation from um, William Friedkin, who'd just done The Exorcist and French Connection at the time. And I, I had considered a place in film school. I always loved film. And he asked, he was trying to get a sort of new team of young people to come and do something different in Hollywood. And he wanted, he didn't want me for the music. It was, he wanted me for ideas. 